Hi guys, it's Wasabi Fold here again with another One Piece video for you and today we're going to be discussing Brooke. What I think his awakening will be, how he will incorporate his awakening's ability into his fighting style and what effects it could have on him and also what I think will be the eventual time when he will awaken and I'm doing this theory now simply because I'm just looking for something to give to you guys. I made a full theory of all the Straw Hat Crew's awakenings a long time ago on Oro Jackson soon after I joined it was like the second theory I made back in November 2015 so it's almost a full year since I made this theory um, but there's some updates that I'm going to add to it specifically when I think he will awaken because of recent events and arcs that have passed by um, I think that this is actually a cool time to be discussing Brooke because I think he could actually have some significance in Whole Cake Island so let's move on. The first thing I want to state is that I will be using Doflamingo's definition for awakening. Um, I think it's the most concise, clear idea we have about awakening. And I see no reason to think that his definition will not transfer to someone like Brooke based on his abilities. The idea is that the devil fruit power exists within the person and their awakening or the effect of awakening is that they can extend this devil fruit power's range from just within their body to the rest of the environment and how that affects the environment and what they can do with it is what's more important than the actual process of awakening. So in the case of Luffy, just going off on a tangent for a minute, I don't see any reason why Luffy's awakening will not simply be turning the environment elastic. Regardless of if his gear 5 looks like how I envisioned it, it doesn't matter. As far as I'm concerned, his awakening is going to be exactly what his devil fruit does his devil fruit turns his body stretchy if he's affecting the environment there's no reason to believe that the environment isn't just going to become stretchy that's what his devil fruit does and that might seem stupid on the surface but what luffy chooses to do with that is really more important so likewise what is brooke's awakening and we're in actually in a unique position with brooke is that we can't really define what brooke's fruit actually does what is its main purpose is it to freeze things is it to allow him to leave his body as a soul what does it actually do and that is the major question and i think the first thing we're going to say is that i think brooke's soul the key to his devil fruit i think when he dies his soul left his body it went to the afterlife in terms of one piece and it gained some kind of spiritual otherworldly energy and it came back and even though his body was beyond use as far as biologically, his soul was able to re-inhabit it and start to move it again, like if it was still alive. And I think that his soul um, is actually where his power lies. This devil fruit allows Brooke's soul to have the energy of life within it. And therefore, it doesn't matter if you destroy his body or not. And I think Brooke will actually start to learn this as he goes through. And I think that's one of the main reasons why Oda gave him a, such a fragile body is that it doesn't matter if Brooke's body is destroyed, he can reconstitute it or keep it together by the amount of soul energy he has. I'm sure at one point he'll probably even get shattered into tiny pieces. And if he's powerful enough, he can bring himself back together. So that's one thing. But what is this energy exclusive to his devil fruit? Is this energy exclusive to him? Is it something that you need to cross over to the underworld to attain and whatnot? And no, I actually think that this energy is the energy of life. I think this is the energy of every living creature, um, some kind of mystical, you know, supernatural thing. Brooks will be the master of this type of energy when he finally awakens and he'll not only be able to use the energy within his own soul but he'll be able to draw on the energy of any other kind of creature or living entity around him and that is actually something that is in direct reference to dragon ball z dragon ball z has the concept of ki and goku and all the other saiyan fighters and whatnot have ki all the humans have ki um but beyond that all the trees and the rivers and the land and the sun have key as well within them and i think um that is actually um going to be the truth of brooke's fruit is that brooke will be able to tap into an energy of the natural world an energy that only he can really grasp what it is for he'll be able to like take energy from the plants he'll be able to take energy from the earth 
and he'll be able to power himself up and when he powers his own soul up he'll be able to move faster he'll be able to strike harder he'll be able to have more freezing effect with his sword play he'll be a more powerful opponent um, and that will just be the most basic usage of this energy but I think he could use this energy to also keep other people alive for instance if someone is gravely injured and their soul is dying you know Brooke could easily just take some energy from a, the natural um, environment um, lend it to that person for a short while um, and let and keep them alive and I think Brooke could actually become like some kind of control over life itself life and death at the same time not saying that his awakening is death and and he's life no i'm saying that by controlling life he can also control where life is and where life isn't um and i also want to point out that i actually think that it will also affect his music skills because uh as we saw and i think actually brooke is on the verge of awakening the more i think about it he is on the verge um as we saw on Sabadee archipelago and the rock concert he was able to fill the souls of the people and he was able to create a tune that was perfectly orchestrated to make them do what he saw fit and i think that is actually going to be an amazing skill for brooke especially with his devil fruit combined with it he'll be able to um, affect the wills of actual living entities and anything with the soul because he can read it. So that's where I think Brooke's ability is heading. I think as far as order, order will definitely keep the awakenings useful to the current other skills. I don't expect Brooke's awakening to suddenly replace his sword play or replace his musical skills to the point where he's only relying on his awakening. I think it would be a combination of all three. So beyond that let's talk a little bit about whole cake island i think this is the perfect stage for brooke to awaken his devil fruit um i think this is almost a guarantee and the main fact is that that big mom is the soul user and i think she and brooke could actually be said to have fruits that are within the same family it's just that her fruit allows her to affect everyone else's soul and brooke's fruit so focuses mainly on his own soul and he won't be able to affect other souls until he actually awakens they're kind of in the same family i guess hers would be above his because she's a yonko um, and i think this is the perfect opportunity for brooke to have an awakening because if he can actually draw on the life energy of other things he has a whole bunch of living entities that aren't really living all around him in the form of big bums homies with the small little bit of lifespan that she takes from the citizens of Cotland as a tribute and, and makes the homies out of Brooke could take that energy and utilize it himself so I'm actually expecting a big moment from Brooke in this arc um, in a similar way to how Usopp had his big moment in Dressrosa Brooke will have his big moment in this arc because I think all of the lower members of the crew are going to be getting power before we face um, a Yonko's crew simply because they're outmatched. I said this on Fishman Island. I said that Tamago and Peckhams are not big tiers in Big Mom's crew. I felt like Tamago was the perfect opponent for Brooke. I felt like Peckhams is the perfect opponent for Chopper. And I felt like these guys were going to be the kind of low tiers that the crew had to take on. You know, the crew needs to be able to have people who can take on 200 and 300 million dollar pirates in their bottom tier and then leave the, for the mid tier and the top tiers 400 to 600 700 800 whatever leave that to the big members in the crew so in my opinion brooke will awaken in this arc so that's my opinion that's what i think brooke's awakening will actually be um basically the control of life energy itself um and what do you guys think of this it does seem to be very basic but at the same time it seems to be pretty cool in my opinion it all depends on how he uses it oh there's one other thing i want to say before i go i know a lot of people have this idea that brooks awakening will be a complete rebirth and that he'll get back his skin muscles i actually believe that this is completely possible um with absorption of life energy if his soul only has enough life energy to move his body if he can gain more he might be able to reconstitute his muscles and stuff and that would be a really cool interesting thing to see to see brooke alive again for a short period of time um using his full strength and using the strength um that he now has available to him so that would be really cool to see um and i think I, i'm actually in support of that idea that that might actually be kind of like a final series moment for brooke um, a final series power up so I'm definitely on board with that so what do you guys think if there are other theories out there that you think are better uh, link me to them so I can see you know see what other people are thinking about um, this is Wasabi Fold signing up